This video will show how the robust construction in Opto Isolator can help to mitigate disastrous uncontrolled motor movements and galvanic insulation damage from power supply failure. Opto Isolator provides reinforced insulation by wide DTI, distance through insulation, with three layers of insulation barriers. The DTI of ACPL 334J gate drive optocoupler is 0.5 mm and the insulation barrier of polyamide film has a dielectric strength of 300 kV per mm. In motor drives, the power supply circuit must be separated from the pulse width modulation PWN control circuit to prevent uncontrolled motor movements. The lead frame at the ACPL 334J is designed with a protective separation distance of more than 0.8 mm between the power supply and PWM control. Capacitive isolator uses silicone dioxide as dielectric for the on-chip insulation. The isolation circuit is integrated on the same chip in a monolithic process. The thickness of the silicone dioxide, or DTI, is only 0.028 mm as compared to Opto Isolator. The construction of a capacitive gate driver using isolation does not have a protective separation. In a monolithic process, the input IC consists of the power supply circuit, PWM control circuit, and silicone dioxide capacitor. If there is a malfunction of the power supply that damages the input IC, the ability to switch off the motor must be guaranteed. ACPL 334J provides a protective separation from the malfunction power supply. This redundancy in architecture provides a fail-safe condition in which the PWM LED will not transmit wrong signal to the motor. In the single-chip architecture of the capacitor isolation, the power supply malfunction can cause the input logic to be in the wrong state, signaling wrong motor movements. The power supply fault can also damage the insulation barrier. A simulation is done by increasing the power supply voltage with uncontrolled current into the input IC. The gate drivers were tested at 5000 volts RMS to detect for leakage current according to UL1577. The ACPL 334J gate drive shows very low leakage current but capacitive fails the limit of 5 microampere. A failure analysis was conducted to see the damage to the insulation barrier. The power supply has damaged the LED and the input of ACPL 334J. But the polyamide film remains unscathed due to wide DTI and three layers of insulation. The capacitive gate driver exhibits high leakage current because the silicone dioxide capacitor is damaged. As the insulation is integrated on the same chip in a monolithic process, their close proximity and thin DTI cause the insulation to fail. This failure will lead to electric shock and compromise safety.